how do you land something large enough that is going so fast in a very thin atmosphere and have it survive? Yes, you can get a little rover. It's much smaller, the mass involved, you, you can deal with that. Even that was very exciting and everybody was holding their breath. But if you're actually going to send hardware of the size, magnitude, weight, mass that you would need to begin to send people, um, we don't have anything. We don't know how to do that. Hello. What do I think it's going to be like to wake up on Mars? It's going to feel like stepping into an incredible alien landscape. We don't know what it's like to wake up with 38% gravity. Maybe I'll have like less bags on my eyes. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I would love to have a family. Over the next couple of years, that would be great. That would be great timing. It is a really big deal to have this like little baby life in your hands. And I think what why I thought I'd make a bad parent was, you know, maybe maybe I don't uh, maybe I'm not the kind of person that is able to stay around, you know, 24/7 to be with um, a kid. I'm trying not to live my life from a place of fear. If I was going to live my life from a place of safety and fear, I would probably leave. But I'm choosing not to do that. Most people in the world carry a lot of fear, and it's unnecessary fear. That's something that maybe I wasn't born with a lot of, you know, and I don't know if it's just the way I was wired. Um, so it has me see the world in a very different way. A lot of people think that this mission is kind of suicidal. Because you, you're going and you're not coming back. There's nothing like that. There can be a lot of people who are actually want to apply for this mission because they're passionate about it. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How was the journey? It was good, it was good, yeah. Had your coffee? Yeah, I had. So, uh, like excited about the interview? Very much. Like, very much. Uh, like... No, no, no. Please, give a quote. பாருங்க மக்களே பொண்ணு மார்ஸ்க்கு அப்ளிகேஷன் போட்டு செலக்ட் ஆயிருக்கேன் சொன்னா வீட்ல நம்ப மாட்டேன்றாங்க. உங்க அம்மா एक्चुअली என்ன சொன்னாங்க? I I didn't listen to her. I actually told her because uh, I had to pay an application fee for that. Okay. And I didn't have a card back then. I was okay. just you know, yeah. So அது அதுக்காக அதுக்காக மட்டும் தான் சொல்லிருக்கீங்க. ஓகே. சோ இந்தியால இருந்து போற ஒரே ஆள் only person from India. நீங்க மட்டும் தான். The person is based in India right now. Okay. So uh, like you're settled well settled right now. Shall we move on to the questions from our uh, listeners? Okay. Nariya so like, like uh, we have a lot actually. You said you had a dream about space. So yeah. what sort of dream? NASA ko pono, ila ISRO ko pono. You want to be a rocket scientist. Satellite. Space exploration basically. You want to be an astronaut. Yeah, I wanted to go to space. I'm not, I'm not saying I wanted to live on a different planet, but mm. since that is actually possible right now, mm. I wanted to do that. Yeah, ungalku bhoomi la irukadhu pudikliya. Edhukaga dhirin ipo Mars ka kelambringa. Edhanaala Mars ka poringa. There's no point. See, uh, Bumi le irka irka the purika the la. You know, I ob obviously you know I was born here, so in the Bumi, rumba ve purika. Okay. No problem with that. But uh, mask le irka na it's uh, it's you know there's no point. I mean, uh, see, people have always wanted to explore okay. more. Okay. Uh huh. And uh, see, you, you could ask a lot of stuff like uh, irka why do you climb mountains? Mm. There's no point in doing that. You 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 won't even go live up there. So why do you do it? Because it's there. There's a Greater motive behind this mission. Okay. 
it's to establish a settlement on the planet. Okay. So uh, th that's how people should see it. They should see it on the you know, brighter note instead of just getting pessimistic and asking people, you know, "Is it going to pour or not?" My father uh, and like my grandfather uh, are really adventurous and they both live in Africa for more than 10 years. I think that I got this sense of curiosity from my father and from my grandfather too. Italiano, Americano, Stati Uniti, and the second for sparare. Basta sfiorarlo. Going to Mars for me uh, will be like uh, reaching the, the summit of a mountain. I want it to be an adventure forever and so this is why I applied for a mission that will not have return. Obviously it was a huge shock at first when we heard it was a one-way trip. And then you think, well, we'll never see her again, never be able to hug her, even if we can't talk to her. No already I would never even think of trying to stand in her way, because I know that's what she really wants to do. Knowing that they've made a decision, that means that they are literally going away forever, it must be incredibly difficult to deal with. And I imagine even more so for her family. Are the tasks that need to be done on Mars so sophisticated yes. that you have to have a human there. A Can't a robot just do it and you can operate the robot from Earth? That's exactly what the rover's doing right now. But it doesn't sound like what it's doing is sophisticated <laughs> enough. Well, that's the current state of the art. Well, that's where we need to zap up the, ro the well, humanoids. We're trying. Not <laughs> <laughs> I'm a humanoid. Didn't you know? <laughs> no, I gave birth to you. Ah, you not... saw it. <laughs> I'm not so sure about sending robots to Mars. I'd rather go. <laughs> I've been living with my uh, little brother, Marwan, for 15 years now. I'm not worried about Marwan at all. He's 28 now. He can sink or swim on his own, you know. He supports me. He's my number one fan. Not just because, not because he want to get rid of me, obviously, but he believes in me and he knows that uh, I'm doing what I love, finally. I don't know if, uh, if I had my parents with me today, what would me to be like? Better different or worse different, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I wasn't going to be the person uh, I am today. I think uh, I would have been uh, a mass communication graduate, which uh, after the accident was no longer an option for me. It took me a while to figure out what I really want to do. So when I started working in the sports marketing field, I loved it so very much. So I decided I'm, I'm going to do that for the rest of my life. And then stuff happened, so I had to change career. And today I'm working as a financial planner in a life insurance company. But also, there's lots and lots of open doors, and uh, the Mars One door has just opened to me 